they remind us that you don't have to have a brain to solve problems. Fungi are a kingdom of life, uh, as broad a category as animals or plants, and um, they, their activity underpins the regenerative capacity of the biosphere. Without fungi, all terrestrial life, all recognizable life, um, would be inconceivable. Uh, but they haven't received a kingdom's worth of attention, uh, which is a problem. Most fungi live most of their lives not as mushrooms, but as uh, networks of branching, fusing cells called mycelium. And mycelial networks are able to form um, connections between different organisms. They form persistent physical connections between different organisms. They're a kind of connective tissue. And so they lead us into a view of the living world as made up of um, interconnected, many interconnected players. Um, they invite us to think about the relationships between organisms as much as the organisms doing the relation. Um, they, are, um, they, they lead us into an ecological, more ecological worldview. I think there are a number of reasons why we're seeing a growth of interest in fungi. I think one of, them, one of the reasons is that we simply know more than we did. New technologies like DNA sequencing have opened up the fungal world as they've opened up the rest of the microbial world. And so we know more, there's more to talk about, there's more to think about. Um, but also, I think, um, fungi live their lives as networks. And so they ride on the network zeitgeist. Um, we see a rise in network thinking, network science in all sorts of areas of human life. Traditional definitions of intelligence uh, tended to put the human mind at the center of their inquiries, which makes sense given that humans are the people doing the inquiring. Uh, and so most of these definitions of intelligence involved brains or brained animals. Fungi are uh, certainly um, intelligent and they're able to solve problems, they're able to adapt to changes in their environment, they're able to make decisions between alternative courses of action. And the way they manage their lives is puzzling to us, it's difficult to find, for us to understand how an organism without a brain, without a center, without a heart, uh, is able to coordinate itself in, in a precise uh, and effective way. Yeah, so fungi raise all sorts of questions about intelligence, but mainly uh, because they remind us that you don't have to have a brain to solve problems. <laughs>